hi everyone my name is ife welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here thank you so much for stopping by please subscribe to my channel like share and comment in this video i'm going to be teaching you how i made this gorgeous gorgeous pink tool dress so you guys should keep watching my video and see you guys in my tutorial okay so i've already cut out the um the bodies of this dress and the tutorial of how i drafted the pattern is on my youtube channel so you guys should watch so i cut um the both the lining and the main fabric but i use the same fabric for both so th um, that is what i'm showing you this is the lining and as well as the main fabric for the dress so the next thing is i folded this doll face into half i used i think half a yard or almost one yard for the lining so I folded it and the shiny part is facing me and I divided my waist circumference that I'll be working with um, with divided by 3.14 and I'm trying to connect the dot and it gave me 7. This is actually a mistake because I marked 5 in this video but I corrected myself is actually 7. So from that marked line I measured 9.5 inches that would be the length of the skirt of the dress that i'll be working with the length of the skirt is 10 but i'm doing nine and a half because i don't want the lining to keep coming out um, of the main dress so i've marked nine and a half inches all the way around and i used my chalk to join the dot then the next thing i'm doing is from that marked line the waistline i marked one and a half all the way around because i'm actually doing four steps for this kit yeah the four steps is this um i marked one and a half down and this is where i'm going to be gathering my two nets on so i'm just trying to mark it down so that it will be easy for me to sew on it when i'm sewing it so um i'm trying to connect the dots and yeah so the next thing is to cut out the waistline i'm going to cut out the excess fabric on top so i'm just going to cut on the chalk and all the way around there that's where i'm going to cut then the next thing is to cut the length as well where i marked all the way round okay so um the next thing is to keep the excess fabric aside and then i'm going to flip it over to the other side and do the same process here as well i'm marking down one and a half inches all the way around from the waistline then i'm gonna go from the marked place that's the second line i'm going to mark one and a half as well and do the same thing to the third line making four line four steps yeah so i'm just gonna connect the chalk line as well i'm just going to connect the marked line that i that i just marked all the way around so the next thing is to open up this so th that's the back and that is that's the front rather so it's like it's a, a semi-circle yep so yeah I'm, this is how it looks out and yeah so that is it then the next thing i'm doing here is to take the other part of the lining this is a taffeta i'm using two linings the first one i showed is the doll face i'll be gathering my tool on that and this is a taffeta i'm just gonna cut a long strap i think this is like um one and a half yard or you can use two as well so and and i i and i cut um, eight inches is sh actually shorter than the main lining where i'll be gathering my two the next thing i did was to fold my two i folded it this way so that it would be easy for me to cut and this is 12 yards of two and i'm using this for a one year old the first day i'm going to be cutting is seven inches the reason is because i'm gonna join um an extra fabric the same fabric i use for the bodies i'm just gonna join three inches to make it 10 inches yeah so this is the first layer the first layer is the um only tool that is shorter than the remaining part of the um tool net so the next thing i'm doing is to cut out 10 inches this is the exact measurement that i'll be using 
for the mini part of the two the layers and this is the length of the skirt of the dress that i'm that i'll be doing so i'm just gonna place it on the remaining part of the two and cut it out that is 10 inches long so i'm done cutting and this is the first layer which is the seven inches that i cut then i'm just gonna gather it and yeah so i'm trying to gather it here so you can see the way i gather my tool i don't do the regular pulling of thread that's like like, like a waste of time to me so i'm just trying to gather here and yep let's keep gathering <laughs> okay so i'm done with that this is the long pieces um that i that i told you i'm gonna join to the first part of the two of the seven inches so i'm just going to try i'm just trying to join them together to make a very long strap this strap i'll call it well i don't know so i'm just gonna join it together and this is the length of this is i used um 12 yards as well because of the tool so that it would um stay together yeah so the next thing i'm doing is to join my bodies i'm joining from the shoulder i used half an inch to join the shoulder together so i think i left at half an inch for the sewing allowance so that is what i am trying to do here i'm going to do the same thing to um the lining part of the bodies so yeah i'm done joining it together so the next thing here is to place the right side facing right side i mean the lining and the main um fabric and i'm going to leave one inch i'm not going to sew from the tip that's the zipper allowance but i'm just going to leave one inch and sew all the way around i i'll do the same thing to the arm all but the arm all i'm just going to stitch from the beginning so i've turned it inside out after stitching so the next thing is to join the sides together yep so i left one and a quarter inch allowance for my um, sewing allowance for the side you can as well leave one inch or um or one and a half but i i used one and a quarter and that's what i'm gonna do now that's what i'm trying to do here so i'm just gonna stitch it all the way down yep i'm joining the sides um actually i am a self-taught so this is the method that works for me i don't know how about other people's method but this is what i use and it works perfectly fine for me yeah so um so i'm trying to join the other side as well and yep i'm almost done with my dress i hope you guys are understanding you guys are on the, you guys are understanding or do you guys understand <laughs> um what i'm trying to do here so yeah you can see the way it looks very neat and you can see um it looks really really neat yep that is the lining and that is the main fabric it's the same thing so you can use any parts yep so the next thing here is to gather my two on the doll face that i marked i'm starting from the bottom part so i'm starting from the bottom part and i'll walk my way through the top don't forget that the 7 inches too is for the waistline. So the remaining 10 inches is for the remaining um, um, place that I marked. So I've already done that. So I'm just going to join lining to lining. And I'm going to join the main fabric to the main fabric. So I'm just trying to illustrate here to show you guys. How I'm going to place it and stitch it all the way. So I'm just going to show this i'm going to show this out of camera i'm not going to show you here so yeah so i'll do the same thing to the lining parts so i'm just going to i'm just going to i think i'm i'm pleating here i'm pleating it i'll pleat the um um the lining to it so i have done that and i have fixed my zipper and the next thing i'm trying to do is to i'm showing you how i'm going to end the um i'm gonna end the lining part yeah so this is the strap that i was talking about so you are going to attach it to the first layer which is the seven inches to all the way around when i'm done i'm just gonna stop stitch all the way around to give it a very clean finishing but before that i actually um displayed this dress on the mannequin to see how it looks like so you guys will get the concept so yep and i've already attached the 
four inch three inches scuba and stuff so you guys thank you so much for watching my video i hope to see you in my next video